Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, uh, I'm gonna start this off uh, leisurely. I'm just gonna show you guys what I did to the Fleet Star because it was high time, we got some upgrades. Even all the level ups we got and all the um, time it actually spent out in the field, to be honest. So, uh, first and foremost, it got off-road tires, which the 45 inch UOD 3s. Uh, we had just unlocked these and we switched over from uh, all terrain over to this, which given the fact that we don't have no mud tires for this truck, honestly, this probably are these probably are the wheels tires that we're going to be sticking with for a very, very long time because um, by the time we actually unlock chain tires, ugh, we'll probably be in Alaska anyway and going to be needing them. But f for general purpose, non-Alaska, non-snow, we're going to be sticking with the 45s off-roads. Now, we also upgraded the winch, we had this upgraded, but we didn't get the chance to actually install it because it's been out in the field and doing things for the last, I don't know, three episodes, maybe more. Um, we also unlocked and installed the short round cap, which just decreases the height, actually the depth of water that we can afford, to be more specific. And um, yeah, that's about it, but to be honest... Uh, I'm really kind of glad, uh, pretty much right now this is up to spec to the Paystar, they compare one to one in terms of, uh, of what they have available to them, and it's I'm gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it compares. But for today, we are actually going to be using the Paystar still. Uh, it's over here at the warehouse. Uh, it's already loaded with uh, a concrete slab and an empty trailer. You're probably wondering why this setup, what are we doing? Well, uh, with the slab, we're going to be doing something kind of... I mean, you, you think from the last few episodes that I would learn my lessons and, you know, downscale what I'm going to be doing, but apparently not. We're going to be doing solid foundation. So we have to get one of those concrete slabs through here. Actually, let's uh, turn off the engine. Let's not use fuel unless we have to, because we will need that fuel. So we're going to be using... Uh, we're going to be doing, sorry, solid foundation. Let's uh, select it. We deliver to Norton's house. One concrete slab. Now, uh, we have the empty trailer because we will be passing by the farm where we'll be taking two uh, consumables to also do Hungry Workers. Hungry Workers is over here. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing them in turn or, I mean, if we're going to be doing them this and then this or the other way around or just uh, dropping the f the food truck here doing that coming back and then doing that doing the um, food delivery i'm not sure because i have no idea how this terrain actually looks like it it seems relatively mucky and horrible but i honestly don't know so let's uh just sit down the path for the moment let's go let's check out the farm uh, we're going to be going via the safe route, as in the full muddy one, because mud we can handle, but horrible terrain that flips us over. Uh, let's just say that in getting this concrete slab, and you know the, that this truck has been here since the last episode, uh, going down that little hill there, I flipped again. <laughs> that was not fun. Also, um... We are taking this instead of any other uh, uh, trailer because of a few reasons. First and foremost, uh, the, the high guardrails that it has, well, not, not like a rails, but whatever, the high things, uh, will keep uh, cargo inside in weird angles, which I care about. And also because using the sideboard trailer, um, you, while also using the sideboard bed on the truck itself, I uh, had some issues with turning, so basically uh, the, the actual trailer and the sideboard, they would be connecting and wouldn't allow me to turn. So for example, uh, I couldn't do this kind of a turn just because uh, they were touching, which is weird. But uh, this has a longer base, longer, I don't know, neck, I don't know how to call it, between the actual truck end and um, the trailer which gives me a lot more flexibility. So this is what we're using. We are still keeping the crane because, well, 
you never actually know when uh, we'll end up in a situation where uh, we need to reuse that crane again. Uh, sadly, the pay star, as you've seen, is back at the hangar. Uh, I kind of wanted to leave it around here, but uh, in case we actually need it, we can always, um, for you guys, fast forward in time. For me, 15 minutes of uh, driving it to where we have the problem. <laughs> but I'm hoping we it, it will not come to that. So we're going to try to be careful, truly careful, really careful, not just uh, saying careful. Okay, now, first things first, you have to get the farm, and there is no other better option than this mucky road. Should we just go via the mucky road, or can we try this, uh... I mean, this seems really bad. This really seems really bad. Let's, let's try the field. I know that the field is deeper than it looks, but I, I'm betting it probably be better than uh, that deep muck. Come on, don't get stuck in that little wooden pole, just push through it. There we go. We have to manage our fuel consumption somewhat, because will actually take a fair bit of our fuel reserves. I'm hoping we can get, do both of them without refueling, but uh, I'm not really uh, sure about that. It's going to be a stretch. We can always just grab the Chevrolet or something and get it up there for the sake of refueling, but I'm hoping it will not come to that. So by, by how slow this is going, we might as well just switch to a low-range gear without all-wheel drive. Faster. I mean, we've lost 40 liters of fuel and we just uh, more or less covered the safe area, I guess. Where's the pickup for this area? I think that's what the quest. Actually, let's see if we have the quest. We should have it, but just double, triple check. Show task. Yeah, okay. And the pickup for food is up ahead. Cool. But uh, I will say that. Uh, you can really feel the difference in pulling power between this and the Fleet Star. Um, in between uh, takes, I have been doing just uh, some logistics, uh, selling uh, trailers and stuff like that, and the Fleet Star have, has been doing a great job when you, they had to pull like this multi-slot uh, layout. And I can see the pay star that it's often uh, in trouble. Actually, I should probably have probably checked I think we had we have the option of upgrading the pastars wheels at this point I think it was level 9 uh, I'm not certain might have been level 12 might either way let's uh, focus on the road here let's make sure we're straight let's make sure we're not tipping over be entirely bad and let's switch to low range because apparently this is not working out yeah, for sure we're gonna have some fuel problems, but oh well. Okay, is the 
this relatively safe ground. Yeah, okay, let's uh, st stop it for a second and let's look at the map. Okay, so this, this, and this. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, let's see how this goes here. This seems to be like a better road. So let's uh, see if we can do it like this. It's gonna take us more fuel, but oh well. And actually, we need to get to this guy here and. with ish. Hmm. It's still the matter of the fuel truck, of the food truck, and where I'm gonna leave the food truck. Probably just gonna leave it here at at the start of this area and not worry about it and then with a the lighter load well I say lighter but uh, it's a full concrete slab load let's see maybe I think this goes faster Nope, it doesn't. Okay, slow and steady is fine for me. Especially after uh, so much trouble with tipping over the truck in the last episodes. faster but you can totally see how much this is struggling with uh, just four slots four cargo slots of uh, cargo compared to uh, the fleet star which we have seen it before all semi trailers full of stuff So yeah, I think it would be smart just to leave it here. Uh, we can come back uh, another time with this truck or another and grab this trailer to deliver to the dudes. Also, leave this trailer on more solid ground so we don't have any issues next time. Seems solid enough. Okay. V, detach trailer, that's enough. And in that case, with this, let's go via this route. I'm not sure what. What's the situation here but I'm pretty sure it's just huge horribly mucky but it's gonna be more fuel efficient than just trying to go whatever around here also we're gonna be unlocking getting some XP from unlocking that uh, trailer there yeah we can definitely see the, the pace start having a much better uh, grasp over the terrain now that uh, we're pulling less weight with us. I did mention in the last episodes maybe that I should um, look over what my truck options are, especially now that I've leveled up a few bits. Maybe I have uh, some more powerful trucks available to me, just so I don't uh, troll myself with uh, you know, some lower level trucks when I really shouldn't have to. Either way, let's focus on the train ahead of us because it is getting pretty interesting. And again, we don't have any 
recovery trucks close to us. I do not like this. Uh, let's winch this to this. Okay, that was smart. Okay, uh, let's safety winch this to this. Oh, that was a bit too close. Successfully navigated that. Apparently, I am learning from my mistakes. Oh, wow, look at this! Look at this. Yeah, let's not. Okay, so we have to go, yeah, this way. There are better options for us. Hopefully not smacking that tree. I am looking at my fuel gauge with a bit of worry. We're literally at 100 liters now and I'm not really certain that... Wow, this is not getting any better, is it? Okay, let's take a small break. Uh, it wouldn't be smart. This looks navigable, but I don't think it would be really smart. go straight like that I, with it no I don't think so okay let's just uh, road through it let's not risk it yeah this is mucky as all hell could at least try and avoid as much of this muck as possible whoa 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 there don't like that tree anyway. Okay, let's downshift. Well, not, not ourselves, but let's force the game to downshift for us by tapping the shift key. More or less reevaluates the terrain faster. There we go. Switch back down to one to five. I could switch to low, but low seems to be way too slow. If we were to have the a better gearbox, we could definitely go low plus in this terrain. To be almost as fast as uh, the auto. But yeah, it's definitely upshifting when it shouldn't. Okay, 75 liters, and are we any closer? Yeah, okay, we have to go past this hump. Uh, okay, I don't like this. I don't really like this. I mean, especially since we're, we're going to be having to turn around. Well, they're trees, so we won't be smacking ourselves into trees, but... Easy, 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 easy. Let's switch to the low range with the differential lock. Break, 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 break. Okay, is 
that onto the... No, that's onto the small tree. I, no, we don't care about the small tree. We want the big tree. There we go. Just giving us a bit of safety there. Yeah, I'm going this way because uh, the truck was apparently pulling uh, left. And we didn't want that. I mean, the best thing to do in those situations, as I found out, is just go into it, not fight it. Fighting it gets you... Fighting it gets you flipped over. Okay, there we go. Now. I don't care how mucky this is, we will just go right straight through it. I think we should have just enough fuel to reach that spot though. Oh, and that's a trailer full of metal beams. Oh, interesting. There we go, ramp traffic discovered. over in this mud. Although, wow, this is some serious mud. No, 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 no. We've seen this movie before. We have seen this movie before. We will not do that again. Running out slowly but surely. solid ground, so let's switch back to auto, let's pause and turn off the engine for a second while we consult. But yeah, straight through and that should be it. Okay, I do not like this. I do not like this. manage that. I'm a lot more weary now <laughs> after all my previous experiences. Okay, fuel will be fine, just have to be careful not to flip over exactly here. Uh, this doesn't seem too bad. I thought that I was gonna turn over so I just decided to Go straight in, might as well. There we go. Let's accept the task. The life of a recluse seems to be catching on. A guy wants to build a house in the middle of nowhere and he's got a ship of the concrete slabs. He wants to use it for the foundation. Can you haul him up there? Yes, sir. -y. Although, I mean, why didn't why wasn't this quest marker like at the factory or something? I mean He's having a discussion with me right here if I can hold them. And wouldn't like wouldn't I want to hear that at the source, not at the destination? But oh well. Cargo management, solid foundation, there we go. You can't go wrong with solid foundation. Good luck to the guy. Thanks for your help. That was 400 XP and 3000 cash. We are almost out of fuel as well, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at our situation here. 
I don't think there's anything more we can realistically do here. Uh, if 30 liters wouldn't get us far, maybe we can uh, visit this uh, flatbed trailer here, get the XP for unlocking it. Oh, it has vehicle, uh, vehicle parts. And we'll come probably in the next episode. Finally have one episode that's under half an hour. And I'll probably come uh, in the next episode and finish up this uh, food transport. For the moment, let's uh, see if we have just enough fuel to be able to get there. Is that a mountain? Yeah, that's a, that's an entire mountain, isn't it? Ish. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a run for it. I don't really care if I flip over or anything like that. Well, I, I was kind of hoping not to flip over exactly immediately, but... Interdripsting. Oh, and the engine stalled. Okay. I guess this is as good of a stopping point as any other. Uh, let's recover this. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to be taking the paste again for uh, delivering this here. Also, did I... Oh god, I just noticed there's a concrete slab right here that I could have used for that quest. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> That's it. Again, uh, we'll see what we're going to be ne doing next time. I'm probably taking out the pacer again, uh, delivering this uh, flatbed trader of food to the guys at the drawing site. In any way, shape, or form, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, click like, get subscribed, all that good YouTube stuff. And this was Cosmo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.